What do you know about Cisco NXOS? Cisco NXOS, Nexus Operating System, is a modern data center class networking operating system built with modularity, resiliency, and serviceability at its foundation. It is robust operating system than Cisco IOS. It supports distributed multi-threaded processing on symmetric multiprocessors, SMPs, multi-core CPUs, and distributed data module processors. It was based on the industry-proven Cisco SanOS software. Cisco NXOS helps ensure continuous availability and sets the standard for mission-critical data center environments. NXOS uses a kickstart image and a system image, except for Nexus 9000. What are Nexus switches series? Cisco MDS 9000 SAN switches. These switches are used to support data center SAN infrastructure. Nexus 1000 volt series switches. It is software-based switch. It operates inside the VMware ESX hypervisor and utilizes the NXOS software. Nexus 2000 series switches. It is used to utilize FEX technology to provide flexible data center deployment models and to meet the growing server demands. Nexus 3000 series switches. These switches deliver layer 2 and 3 switching for general purpose deployments, high performance computing, HPC, high frequency trading, HFT, massively scalable data center, MSDC, and cloud networks. Nexus 5000 series switches. These switches are high density layer 2 and 3, 1040th G Ethernet unified ports. It supports any number of ingress source ports and any number of sources VLANs or VSANs. Nexus 7000 series switches. It can provide an end-to-end data center architecture on a single platform, including data center core, aggregation, and access layer. These series switch offer high density 10G, 40G, and 100 gigabit Ethernet and bandwidth per slot up to 1.3 terabits per second. It supports for FEX, virtual port channel, VPC, VDC, MPLS and FabricPAT. It was specifically developed for the most mission-critical enterprise and service provider deployments. Nexus 9000 series switches. It can operate Nexus OSR application-centric infrastructure, ACI, modes. It offers both modular, 9500 switches, and fixed, 9300 switches, 1G, 10G, 40G, and 100 Gigabit Ethernet, GE, configurations. It supports for fabric extender technology, FEX, virtual port channel, VPC, and virtual extensible LAN, VXLAN. What is DCNM? Cisco DCNM stands for Data Center Network Manager. It is a central management dashboard for data center fabrics based on Cisco Nexus switches, MDS and Cisco UCS. The main purpose of DCNM is used to reduce the operation expenses by providing the efficient operations, monitoring and troubleshooting the data center network infrastructure. It provides a graphical user interface for viewing and managing switches, as well as a RESTful API to enable automation. What is Fabric Path? Fabric Path is a Cisco proprietary switching protocol that in some ways replaces STP, spanning tree protocols, and VPC, Cisco virtual port channel. Fabric Path combines both layer 2 and layer 3 functions, thus giving simplicity of layer 2 and also the intelligence of layer 3. What is FCOE? FCOE stands for Fiber Channel over Ethernet. It is a technology that enables unified I.O. on servers. Unified I.O. is the ability to carry both storage and LAN data traffic on the same network adapter. What is VDC? VDC stands for Virtual Device Contexts. This feature available on Nexus 7000 only. VDC partitions a single physical device into multiple logical devices that provide fault isolation, management isolation, address allocation isolation, service differentiation domains, and adaptive resource management. What is MPLS? MPLS stands for Multi-Protocol Label Switching. It is a one of the techniques for routing network packets. It is protocol agnostic and speeds up packet forwarding and routing. In a traditional, non-MPLS network, packets are routed at each hop. It is mainly focused on IPv6 and IPv4. MPLS works only between OSI Layer 2, Data Link Layer, and Layer 3, Network Layer, and it's often known as a Layer of 2.5 protocol. What is OTV? OTV stands for Overlay Transport Virtualization. OTV is a SNIP-based mechanism developed by Cisco to provide Layer 2 extension capabilities over any sort of WAN-based transport infrastructure. It means a control plane protocol is used to exchange MAC reachability information between network devices providing LAN extension functionality. What is LISP? LISP stands for Locator ID Separation Protocol. It is a network architecture and set of protocols that implements a new semantic for IP addressing. It is used in SD access, providing overlay solution for SD access fabric. What is VXLAN? VXLAN stands for Virtual Extensible Local Area Network. 
It is an overlay network protocol. It is often used to tunnel virtual network infrastructure in virtualized environments. It was specifically designed for layer 2 over layer 3 tunneling. What are ANP? ANP stands for Application N. Network Profiles. These are a group of EPGs and the policies that define the communication between them. What VPC? VPC stands for Virtual Port Channel. It is a port channeling idea that extends hyperlink aggregation to two separate physical switches. What is VPC peer link? The peer link is the most important component of the VPC domain. The peer link exchanges state information and carries control traffic between peer nexus switches. What are often ports? Often ports are unmarried attached devices that aren't connected through a VPC, however nonetheless carry VPC VLANs. Why use ISIS as the fabric path control plane? ISIS, intermediate system to intermediate system, is very flexible and can be extended to support other functions with new type length values, TLVs. It is also known as tag length value and is used to encode optional information. Why use VDC? There are multiple logical roles, core and distribution on the same box. VDCs as a managed service to customer's lab environment for later production use. Some features cannot coexist in the same VDC, OTV and SVIs. How to create VDC? Hostname hash conf t hostname config hash VDC name greater than creates a VDC and enters the VDC configuration mode. Hostname config VDC hashtag allocate interface Ethernet slot port greater than allocates one interface to the VDC. What is the Cisco Nexus port profile? It is a group of port configuration directives that can be applied to an interface via a single command. Port profiles provide a convenient way of provisioning interfaces on switches. The definition of a port profile looks like below. Configure. Port profile type Ethernet server switch port no shut spanning tree port type edge switch port mode access description is missing state enabled. What is the use of uplink fast? This feature on Cisco switches helps in leaf node switches and or switches at the ends of the spanning tree branches to possess a functioning root port whilst maintaining more than one of the redundant or potential root ports in blocking mode. Anytime the primary root port uplink fails, another one blocked uplink instantly can be brought up for use. How to verifying the VDC configuration in Nexus 7000 series? Follow below code, show running config, VDC, VDC all, show VDC, VDC name, show VDC detail, show VDC current, VDC show VDC membership, status, show VDC resource template, show resource, show VDC, VDC name, resource, resource name, show Mac VDC, VDC. How many OSPF processes can be run in a virtual device context, VDC? There can be up to four, four instances of OSPF v2 in a VDC. How many syslog servers can be added to a Nexus 7000 series switch? The maximum number of syslog servers configured is 3. Which modules support Fabric Path, FCOE, and FEX connectivity? Fabric Path is supported on all F1 and F2 modules. FCOE is supported on all F1 modules and F2 modules except on the 48X10 GEF2, Copper, module. FEX is supported on all F2 modules. Use this link from Cisco as a reference. F2E module supports FCOE, FEX, and Fabric Path. The F3 module, 12 port 40 GE, supports FEX, Fabric Path, FCOE, OTV, MPLS and LISP. Which modules support LISP, MPLS, and OTV? All M1 and M2 modules support MPLS and OTV. LISP is supported only on the 32X10 GE M1 module. How many VDCs can the Nexus 7000 support? 4 VDCs, including 1 VDC for management, with SUP1 or SUP2, and 8 plus 1, management, VDCs with SUP2E. What are Cisco Catalyst switches? The Cisco Catalyst switches offer a variety of wireless controllers, network switches, and wireless access points. Taking of the switches, these make use of iOS as their operating system. What is use of static pinning? The static pinning feature allows groups of access interfaces to be bound to particular fabric, uplink, interfaces with the command pinning max links. If a fabric interface fails, its pinned access interfaces are automatically shut down. How to forward traffic from host interface to parent switch? There are two ways to forward traffic from host interface to parent switch. Static pinning, it allows you to bind a number of host interfaces to a fabric interface port channel.
It provides load balancing between the host interfaces and the parent switch. A fabric interface that fails in the port channel does not trigger a change to the host interfaces. Traffic is automatically redistributed across the remaining links in the port channel fabric interface. Can you explain backbone fast in the network backbone, or even call air? A totally different method would be used to shorten STP convergence. It operates by having a switch actively determined whether or not alternative paths are available to the root bridge, in the event the switch detects an indirect link failure. Indirect link failures happen when a link which is not directly connected to a switch fails. A switch detects an indirect link failure any time it receives inferior BPDUs from its designated bridge on both its very own root port or a block port. How to configure the backbone fast in switch use the command? Use the below command, switch, config, hash spanning tree backbone fast. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.